Whew, those heat up quick. Turn my heated vest on too. Maybe. So it's uh, it's not exactly cold out. It's uh, the day before Thanksgiving, and we have had some snow. So if you see some some white stuff on the road, uh, that's actually not snow. It's it's salt, uh, which I probably shouldn't be out riding in. But it is a beautiful day, and I wanted to get out and test my new foot bags out on the KLR. I owed Sabat Heat uh, a mention in the video for sending me these heated gloves. Uh, I actually did test these out on a very cold day. Uh, the last time that I was out was uh, two or three days ago and it was like 30 degrees and that was actually the day that I was testing out the uh, Tusk extended shift lever literally have no idea where I'm headed here standing up on the pegs definitely feels much 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 better than the goofy rubberized stock ones but I, I gotta say I mean I, I can definitely feel that these are still sagging and that does not feel good at all um, the extra grip that the what is living in there uh, the teeth on the metal pegs provides is so much better uh, than the squishy rubber but still just the the fact that they drew down like that just I don't know does not give me a good feeling at all I I don't I don't think I'm gonna come off of them because those teeth grab so well uh, and actually a couple times they've grabbed so well back when I had them on the gen 2 that uh, <laughs> I couldn't get my foot off and I uh, tipped the bike over when I went to install these though um, Back on the gen 2 they went on super easy uh, on here a little bit different story They're pretty easy to install uh, as far as a mechanic standpoint goes. Uh, there's just a little C-clip uh, Retaining ring on the bottom of the pin that holds them on so you just got to pull that off of the pliers and Then you can just pull the pin out the top and the peg comes off However, when I went to stick these new pegs in, kind of was able to force it in and was hoping that I could just maybe break some of the uh, the coating off of them and they would loosen up enough, but didn't seem like that was going to happen. Um, so I did end up taking a file to them. Really wasn't too big of a deal. Uh, I could have just gone in and used my bench grinder, but my little guy was sleeping and the bench grinder is perfectly positioned right under where he naps. So that, that wouldn't have been so great. Uh, so it did take a little bit of elbow grease filing them off. But now they're in so easily that this one, I mean, basically just falls up or down. And the reason I say up is when I shift and then pull my foot out, sometimes I think I must kind of come up at an angle and I actually feel it come up, which I do not like. Um, so I'm not really sure, I guess if I, I could have maybe just shaved off a little bit less and then it would have sort of kept itself down. I don't know, uh, whatever. It's probably not worth worrying about. Obviously shaving material off of it isn't really the greatest thing you're removing some some strength there technically um so I, I would say don't use these however seems like they work okay and uh, i definitely feel much better having that extra bit of grip on the bike for sure i should actually have something that's going to show up any day here that will get rid of the isolation and will actually give me a little bit more room uh, which i think will definitely be a good thing like i said just with these pegs on here and the, the adventure boots this just just almost not enough room even with that extended lever uh, however i'm still very much enjoying the extended lever and probably wouldn't be able to ride today uh, without it so definitely still something that i would recommend picking up while wow, these gloves are burning my hands i think i uh, never actually got around to saying that but i think it's like 47 degrees out uh, which still isn't warm uh, but it's definitely warmer than the, the 32 that i was at the other day and yeah i'm gonna have to turn these things down got like a million settings on here maybe we'll go go down to well, maybe purple is as cold as it gets wouldn't recommend doing that on the fly that was silly honestly on a day like today I'm not really sure that I that I need any of my heated gear on but I mean hey if you got it why not use it right <laughs> This is actually the first ride with the crash protection on here too. And there is, I think like right around, I guess I was gonna say 50, but we're at 50. Right around, uh, I suppose, yeah, right around here, 51, I guess. Everything does seem to pick up a bit more of a vibration. And I'm not saying that was caused by the crash bars. It was actually always this way. Uh, but at that sort of bad spot, 
it seems like the, the bars also pick that vibration up, but it doesn't seem like they make any sort of noise uh, or really add to it at all. At first, I was kind of thinking maybe they were, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe they do a, a very, very small amount, but uh, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that there is just that kind of one one point where you hit the right speed and the right RPM that the, uh, the single cylinder is, is very evident. And I, I mean, that's just kind of what you're gonna get with a KLR. Um, I have heard people complain about the, uh, actually, I guess a couple different brands of bars uh, for the Gen 2, um, but I, I don't I don't think that's an issue uh, with these. Uh, those would get, I, I think, a noise and ju would just add to the vibration of the bike. And maybe you guys can kind of comment on that down below, but I, I don't think I notice any, at least any major or very noticeable uh, changes that really probably only uh, was even thinking about it just because I was out to, to test it and to think about it. But I, I don't think that there's any sort of negative effects uh, that these are putting on the gen 3 um, I think everything is all very positive so far definitely still enjoying them they don't seem like they get in the way of my knees at all if you were a lot taller than me and again I'm 510 maybe your knees would get close to them but I mean even if I'm on the tank I've still got quite a few inches of clearance there so I don't see any sorts of any sorts of problems arising from that uh, one thing I guess that I kind of forgot to mention during the review is that I really, 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 really like having these bars on the back here. Uh, obviously, I can mount my, my camera to it, so that works out nicely. But uh, they're so nice to be able to uh, grab onto and pick up. There's kind of a, a spot where you can actually get two hands on it, and I use it all the time to, to drag the bike around in the garage. I don't really like the whole thing where you tip the bike on the side stand and spin it around. I just, especially on a big bike like this, I don't know. Seems like a good way to snap a side stand off. Wow, these gloves are just like always hot. Probably should have figured out what was the cool setting. I guess we'll try that. I guess it's actually kind of nice that they only give you the heat on the top. If they're on the bottom, I suppose then your palms would get sweaty and nobody likes that. Oh, I think that's first gear. Was that red line? Ah, oh, what a beautiful day for a ride. Yep, nope, that is that is not not any cooler. These are some hot gloves. <laughs> Blue must be cool, right? Oh, this is chip seal. I didn't even really realize that. This stuff caused my very first motorcycle accident. I guess I've only had two. Let's keep it that way too. Two is enough. Two is more than enough. And speaking of accidents, I, I don't think that I can recommend these for road riding. And I mean, that's that's not really what they're for. They do technically advertise them as motorcycle gloves. They're definitely going to be nice for when I am plowing the driveway. Uh, however, I think if I went down in a crash, they would probably disintegrate pretty quickly. Um, obviously, no real crash protection at all. The bottom is goatskin leather, but I, they, they, I mean, just you can tell by looking at them. They're, they're, they're not really motorcycle gloves. But other than that, I mean, as, as far as just a, a heated glove goes in general, uh, they seem nice. The heat on the top only um i mean i don't know like i said i, I wouldn't maybe even want it on the palms just because and your palms would get sweaty uh I, when i was out when it was very very cold and it was like 30 degrees uh it was nice to have uh, all that heat and like i said that there does seem to be a few points that get really really hot at least just out of my right hand but other than that i mean they they're definitely a, a welcome thing on a rather chilly day uh and i think i will definitely use them for lots of stuff uh around the house it's never never bad to have a little bit of extra heat on the the chilly wisconsin winter days so if you guys are interested in taking a look at these take a look down in the description i'll have a link for them i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this beautiful day and enjoy my gen 3 klr 650 here if you guys are not subscribed you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell after you subscribe that'll let you know anytime i put a video out until then take care stay safe stay swanky get out enjoy this beautiful world if you can and hey if you can't here's more videos to check out in the meantime